Hello, people. Uh, this is Terrell here from Terrell Game Vlogs. I know I haven't done a uh, video in a while, and this video probably doesn't even seem like a video you really should upload, um, especially considering how rambly this is probably going to come off. But uh, I started watching a whole bunch of videos recently about uh, the whole issue with black women and uh, them not understanding why black men don't date black women. Now, as someone like me who has interest in black women but realizes that most of them don't really fit the type of girl I'm into, uh, I'm not talking more so as into why black men don't date them, but why they're less likely to. Because there's a lot of problems that I feel like a lot of people aren't talking about, primarily because it's just it's a, it's a difference of perspective. And uh, it's something I've come to a realization of over time. It's not that, because I want to put this on the floor. Almost every girl I've asked out and talked to are black girls. So it's not like I'm exclusively shitting on black women. And on top of that, I still would have no problems dating a black woman. So it's not even that. But I want to talk about something. And, it, and granted, I live in the South, so your results might be slightly different. But this is just from my experience. Black women are very fucking boring, I guess is the best way to describe it. And obviously, every there's there's that stereotype for every type of person. Bl black women specifically kind of all hit the same damn notes, which is why almost every black girl I've talked to who is, is usually rare, radically different from like a stereotypical black woman. And the problem is a lot of black women are stereotypical black women. Um... A good example is they're the ones who are always obsessed with their hair. They're always obsessed with wearing makeup. They're the ones who always go to church. And some people might go, well, why is that a bad thing? Listen, going to, being religious isn't a bad thing. But it's very, for black women specifically, and black men to a lesser degree, the church obsession is cool for those who give a damn. But, if, but for someone like me who inherently doesn't give a damn, that's like, like, one of, that's like an almost an immediate cutoff for a lot of girls. Oh, he's not religious. It's like you don't believe in Jesus, and it's, and for those who know me, you know it's not really that I don't believe in Jesus. I just don't give a damn because at the end of the day, and my my thought process is, if God put me on this earth to do good things and be a good person, I don't think He's gonna fucking sweat it that I don't go to a fucking building every Sunday and sit down for like two hours and and, and have someone read a book out to me that's supposedly made so I can understand it anyway. Because that's all a preacher does is just he's giving context to a book that was made originally so I could understand it on my own. So wh what the fuck do I need the preacher for? If I was, if I really cared also, the, I'm not going to go too far into it. The point is I'm not super religious. And that's like an immediate cutoff for a lot of black girls. Like a lot of black girls. And granted, and some would say, well, it's not like it's any different with other women. And I'm like, well, it's not. But let's just say... The open-mindedness to different types of religion and different personal choices uh, is more prevalent than it used to be. Although it's not like there aren't black girls who are atheists or agnostic or any other different types of religions. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the majority of them are still in that whole, if you ain't a Christian or you don't believe in Jesus, don't fuck with me. That's like a, That's almost an immediate cutoff, which is a problem. The other problem is that a lot of black girls kind of sang, hang around these three or four different job types. And it's not like you don't see other black women in different job positions. But a lot of the ones, especially here in the South, it's always like the same three or four things. I'm going to go to school to be a teacher. I'm going to school to be a nurse. I'm going to school to, to do hair and shit. It's like the same three or four jobs. Or, or, or the fourth one, I just want to be a housewife. Once again, there's nothing wrong with those positions. But the problem is... It, they all seem like safe positions that you pick because you didn't know what the, what the fuck to do with you do with your life. There's a lot of black girls that just don't have any ambition. Period. It's like, oh, you don't want a housewife. Listen, a wife is cool, but it's jarring to me that for some reason women are, and this is an issue with women in general, but like black women, at least for this particular video, the women have like barely any ambition. It's always this fucking. I'm going to hang around like these three or four jobs and none of them except for maybe being a teacher being probably the better. One. I mean, granted, it's not like a nurse is a bad thing. I'm just saying these, these three or four jobs that don't really fucking that are like all that feel like you picked it because everyone else in your family who's a woman picked it. 
and there's like no ambition to do anything greater. You got a few girls who are, you, I mean, you have women who are willing to do that, but there are a lot of girls who are just hanging in that. It's like they dick around, and a lot of them are just looking for a fucking man to take care of them. That, that's so unappealing to me. You, you, you fucking, you, you have a limited amount of time on this earth. And the only thing you want to do is just be kind of like a fucking secondary to somebody else. And some people are happy like that. And some people prefer it. But it's just not attractive to me. So you have a lot of black men who is like, do I really want to date a girl who literally just wants me to do everything for him? At that point, I can go get me a hooker every other weekend and be perfectly fine and have to deal with any of the extra bullshit. Now, as far as the arguments about women, black women being ghetto and black women uh, being obsessed with weaves and shit and that's stereotypical stuff, but it is true. I mean, stereotypes are based on truth. People like to act like, oh, it's a stereotype. That Not all black women are like that, which is true. Not all black women are like that. That doesn't mean the majority aren't, or there isn't a high amount, a high percentage of women who don't fall into that criteria. And the ghetto argument is aggravating as fuck because it turns into a situation in which... Um, it turns into a situation in which a guy will say some shit and get immediately burned because, oh, you shouldn't say that to a woman or you shouldn't say that to a black woman. Like, they're like, and that's the other problem. Like, to me specifically, that, that the stereotypical black woman, which I would say makes up a good percentage of black women, is boring as fuck to me and is automatically shut out of my potential of black women. Because for one, the religion thing, that seems to be a huge gate for a lot of people. If you and if me and you share a different taste in religion, you will automatically, no, I can't fuck with you because you don't believe in Jesus, which is what, and then that kind of goes into the being the uneducated shit. Because usually if you tell someone, and as, as I said, that's not true for every girl, but it's like you tell someone you're agnostic and the first thing they say is, oh, it's, you're not Christian, you don't believe in Jesus, and you're like, <sighs> And some people are just uneducated, but some people, that's an automatic cutoff. The second problem is that same stereotypical ghetto-ass attitude. These women are like the most boring fucking women to talk to because they only talk about, it's always that day-to-day -day shit. You can't really talk anything real with them, and if you do, it has to be like in a very specific situation. Like, I, 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 like, I like to date a woman who's intellectually stimulating, which is why half of the girls I've talked to are girls I can have real conversations with. If I'm just talking to a fucking chick who wants to talk about, oh, I, I went to school and this dude was looking at my ass or something, like, it's always that basic shit, or, oh, did you see Beyonce's new video? Or, like, and, and look, it's not like we can't have those conversations, but those are like the, the, to me, that's usually, for a lot of those girls, that's usually the best it gets for conversations. It is the most boring and monotonous shit in the world, which is where my opinion of the reason why a lot of black men don't date black women as much. It's partially due to the fact that a lot of black women burn black men in various different ways. You have the thugs that get burned with baby mama drama. You get the smart guys that get burned because they're viewed as corny and lame and shit. And then you and then you have some of the middle ground dudes who just get burned for like really random reasons. Now, granted, it, it, it works both ways. It's not like black dudes don't do dirty shit to females. But the problem I have is that a lot of dirty shit black dudes do to females... Females usually know beforehand and still fuck with the nigga and then get mad. So at that point, it's like, well, you've already made a dumb decision to begin with. But for me personally, a lot of black, a lot of the, the, the stereotypical black girls are just not intellectually stimulating. And even the ones that are a little bit better, or like a little bit different, they're boring as fuck. It's always like you can't really have real conversations and shit. I, it's black men sometimes just get tired of the monotony. Some black dudes get tired of the of the of the ghetto bullshit, you know, the, the nigger tree, where it, it turns into a fucking, uh, it turns into a shouting match every time you want to have a conversation, and so it's that whole oh, I can't admit that I'm wrong, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna out yell you, and you're just gonna lose because we're playing the war of attrition game, and black women always seem to win that game because some guys are just like you know what I'm tired of it, I'm not gonna do this. I'm just going to walk away. And then the stubborn argument that some niggas... And, it, and nothing I'm saying specifically is towards black women 100%. People got to understand that when black, when, when black guys say they don't date black women, it's usually due to their own personal experiences. They don't find black... And it's a subjective. Black women get so uptight about this shit. It's like, oh, I don't want to date a black girl. And it's like, why not? And I'm like, because I don't find black women attractive. Now, what attractive is to them is all subject, all specific subjective things, because attraction is subjective. 
Not everybody's attracted to the same type of person. I'm afraid my phone's going to ring. It's going to piss me off if it does. But that's what it boils down to. Some some people just don't find aspects, a lot of stereotypical aspects of black women attractive. Whereas, it, like, if you look at white girls or Latina girls, being crazy and having attitudes is, you know, that's something that all people have. But black women, it always feels exasperated, partially because it's overly pushed uh, in arguments and shit. Like a black girl, it's it's that whole thing about how you'll do something to a black girl and the black girl feels like she needs to take it like six or seven steps further. It's like, I call you a bitch and you break a window in my car. That doesn't equate. I didn't smash any of your property, but you broke, you put a fucking hole in my car. It's ridiculous. Uh, but as I said, for me personally, it's, it's primarily just because of the monotony and the boredom. A lot of black girls, a lot of stereotypical black girls, especially ones in the South, are very samey. You can't really talk outside of like certain topics with them. And it's like, yeah, it's like you feel restricted. That's my biggest thing. I feel restricted talking to a lot of different types of black girls. Uh, as I said, I've I found a good amount. I've found a decent amount of exceptions. I'm not going to sit here and underplay it. But at the same time, it's still that same as, oh, look at my new weave. Look at my giant hoop earrings that don't make any fucking sense, but I'm going to wear them anyway because it's not like it, it can bite me in the ass. Uh, oh, and then is that also because that whole because I can mindset? I hate it. And for those who know, I hate that mindset, period, in people in general. Black girls have it almost in spades in a lot of reasons where they're just like, it's like, why did you do this? Eh, because I could. And see, and, and you got to understand, for me, the reason why that pisses me off is because it's like, it, to me, that says that you're just throwing logic out the window because because of a fucking whim. And certain whims, depending on what it is, that's fine. But it's always like life changing shit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go have sex with this nigga without a condom because hmm, fuck it. It's a Tuesday or I'm going to go get this ridiculous big ass tattoo that, you know, you're not going to be able to easily hide. So if you try to apply for a job in the future, it's going to bite you in the ass. Oh, fuck it. And also, it's and then obviously the whole Bible versus bullshit. I I can't stand that. I can't stand it. I understand people need religion to cope, but some women are so bad, especially because a lot of them are hypocrites. A lot of them just do that shit as if it's appealing, and it's not. It's very unappealing. Black women have attitudes. Everyone has attitudes. I'm just trying to, at least from my experience, I'm just trying to give that. Guys who don't dig black girls in the same way is primarily due to just they don't find stereotypical like the base aspects of black girls. A lot of guys just don't find attractive as much. You got to be like different, especially because it's samey as shit. It's like, it's like I said, the whole housewife, nurse, teacher thing. Those are like the three main jobs you always hear about where I'm going to go do hair. Uh, I'm gonna go get my education and then they just dick around in one job for like 16 years and they just become embedded and shit like there's no ambition there half the time it just feels like they just want to go do the same shit um, it's the same fucking idols there's no variety and in recent years it's gotten better but it's still not as appealing as people like to make it seem like it is like black girls like that like they're the, they're the, they're so fine and they're they're so appealing now and I'm like that's not a, the case or else you wouldn't have any, this many black women who just don't want to deal with it. And a lot of black women just got burned at a young age and said, nah, fuck this shit. Now, do I think that's a little premature to just throw away black women entirely? Yeah, you. I feel like the whole goal should be to keep all your options open. Turning away an entire race is retarded because not everybody fits your criteria. That's why I never say I don't date black women. What I say is... Um, I date educated women. I date women who are different, who intrigue me intellectually and stimulate me intellectually, as well as like emotionally and yeah, sexually on some levels. But when you, when black women are sitting here acting like they're confused about, like, well, what's the problem? It's not anything specific that black women specifically have. And some dudes may say more than I am saying, but for me, anyways, it's not that black women specifically only have these problems is that specifically they're like the biggest combination of all these fucking problems like a good percentage of black women are a combination of all these things it's not like one fucking thing it's like a fuck it's like you take all the bad aspects ghetto bullshit weave no ambition uneducated get you know all this other shit that every every person has in general and then like black women for some reason have like a good percentage of that 
rolled up. And then on top of that, they also have a bullshit sense of arrogance. It's like, a, it's like I am the shit. Listen, being prideful and being a bitch are two different things. Or being like fucking overly arrogant, it's two different things. If you're overly arrogant, you're a fucking pain to be around, period. That's not, there is no fucking substitute for that shit. If you, I can't stand arrogant bitches because they're the ones who feel like they're old the fucking world. And it's like, humble your fucking self. And nobody likes arrogance because it just makes it seem like you're getting talked down to. And I don't know any guy who wants to be in a relationship where they're talked down to unless they're in the BDSM and there was an agreement that that's what that was going on. Uh, this is kind of rambly may not make a hundred percent sense and i understand if some of you are mad but it's like i said it's like this is just based on my experiences this is not a hundred percent factual truth and it's not like every fucking guy and girl agrees specifically with what i'm saying i'm just giving from my experience a lot of stereotypical black women are boring as fuck and they make about a big majority of the amount of black women you date because a lot of guys i know who don't a lot of my friends and it's always that whole, they, they turn down specific types of guy shit, too. Like, I have a friend who kind of fits that same nerdy, geeky corridor. And I understand that there aren't as many black girls who are nerdy and geeky. But who is my friend dating who's a black guy? He's dating a white girl. I don't think, and from what, in the conversations we had, it was never that he, could, he couldn't date a black girl. Most black girls don't give those types of guys a chance. Like... Open-minded works both ways. If you want black men to be more open-minded towards black women, black women need to be toward needs to be need to be more open-minded towards black men. And let's be real here. As I say, it's the same thing with the religion shit. You cut a nigga off as soon as they say I'm not I'm not I don't I'm not the most religious guy in the world. You don't go to church. Or uh, oh man, he's corny. He doesn't listen to like certain types of music and shit. This is why I say open-mindedness. Open-mindedness to me is one of the most important things for our generation. Because the, you keep you cut down your options when you aren't willing to give anybody else a chance, and then you're surprised when you're sitting there looking down a fucking corridor, and all you see is the same ghetto ass nigga you were fucking with ten years ago. I don't know. Uh, this may have come off rambly. I apologize if it seems incoherent. Uh, just let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section below, and uh, I will catch you guys later. Peace. Oh.